Hi everybody and welcome to this booth. We are uh, here with the Inclusive Design Media Center at Ryerson University at the Ontario Centers of Excellence uh, trade show. One of the things that I'd like to demonstrate is the research that we're doing in the development of this piece of software. The purpose of the software is to increase accessibility in, env in internet environments for deaf people and it includes a lot of video use and strong visual navigation for internet environments. This is really critical for those people for whom text doesn't create an accessible environment. Text is the physical representation of an auditory language, whereas deaf people use a visual language that doesn't have any print format. Finally, we have access to video environment which enable us to use video-based and visual-based navigation cues and, nav and visual content in internet environments. This means that we can capture things on video in American Sign Language and create video objects such as you see here in this interface. This means that people could present their content in either spoken language or in signed language. And what's really key in this software that's new and innovative is that if you can see that where the frame becomes red, that's actually a live link. So when that point in the video comes up, you can click on that and that will navigate you to a new page, just like text hyperlinks do in text-based formats. So we're able to replicate that hyperlink function in a video environment. This software also allows for closed captioning for even more enhanced access. You can have a content in American Sign Language and make it accessible to those people who don't know how to sign through the use of closed captions. In addition to that, you can also include a full text transcript of the content so that it's available in multiple formats. Just as the links are available in the video content, those same links can be made available in, in standard text hyperlinks in the text format. Our software is called SignLink Studio. And what you can do is open up the software application and create a video text. You just hit record from any webcam. You can sign a greeting or any kind of content. I might sign here a welcome message that I might want to post on a website. Then I click stop at the end of my message. And then from there, it's really easy to open up an editor application. And that allows you to make any sign links that you want to have so that you can navigate from this message to any other sign content. And you can make this into a live link, just like I showed earlier on the other screen. And you can also use this editor to put captions on your video. This software has lots of applications. For example, public service announcements that the government puts out on maybe flu shots every flu season when they make public service announcements, those aren't really accessible to those to people who don't use spoken English uh, or written English and it's not accessible to them. So that information needs to be made available for people who use American Sign Language so that they can access that important public health information as well as everybody else. So these, this is what, just one example of an application for software such as this. So this is how you open up the uh, screen that captures from the webcam so that you can make your recording here. You could write your write or sign or speak your message into the uh, webcam here. You could say hi, here we are at the OCE. There's a lot of innovative and exciting design stuff going on. And this is a video software product which allows us to document ASL. And then you can hit save. And now this is uh, a hard copy, in effect, a document of that uh, ASL message, which now becomes an object, which you can import into the software editor. In this editing program, you can create links from different aspects of this video to other pages, other videos, other documents, or other websites. So suppose I wanted to make a link at this section of the video, I would just hit add link and this enables me to uh, put in, for example, a link to the research that I'm doing at Ryerson University. So I would put in my URL address in this field to create the link 
if I run it at that fast, I move my head and it walks so, away and it's still like... Now what I would want to do is have a, uh, a link, an icon, uh, that works as a thumbnail to identify the content of that link. So it's a snapshot, as it were. Which is sometimes a problem because ASL is a visual language and it in contains motion. So you have to capture a frozen snapshot that becomes the thumbnail to identify where this link is going to go. So that's what I do in this vid part of the video editor. So I can just make that the particular aspect of this video that I want to highlight in my link. And you can see here that I'm allowed, I can frame uh, what part of that video frame I want to become my thumbnail so I can center it on my face. And I can be quite precise as I select which exact frame I want to hold as my thumbnail for this link. And when I'm satisfied with that, I'll just click here and that becomes my icon to represent the link that I've just created in this video. And there it is. So you can add as many links as you want. I could link to, for example, my research, or my personal website, or other work-related websites that pertain to the content that, of this particular post. Now, some people might not understand American Sign Language, so I could also use this editing part of the software to create closed captions to make it accessible for people who don't know how to sign. So I would just type in here, hi, here I am at OCE, just to provide an English transcript of what it is that I had signed. And I can hit new, add that, I would just type in whatever my captions are. Ladies and gentlemen, I have your attention, please. All that So we can just type in whatever it is, and then that becomes the caption. And there you go, and that's how you create a video post with links and captions. And this you can then put into any other website that you have, and it would look like this. And there it is. That's the post we just made as a demonstration, and that's it's got its links and it's got its captions. It just takes a few moments to make websites accessible.